New York City is implementing new steps to deal with mental health and homelessness across the cities underground. We asked students at Fordham University what their opinions are of Mayor Adams' new plans. Mayor Adams' plans include requiring care when a person's mental health prevents them from meeting their own basic needs, requiring a screening of all psychiatric patients prior to discharge for their need to receive assisted outpatient treatment under Kendra's law, and allowing a broader range of trained mental health professionals to perform evaluations and community removals of individuals in crisis. So basically what I think about uh, Eric Adams' new proposals and dealing with the mental health crisis in our city um, is a good first step, but I think there's a lot more to be done. I mean, any New York student, whether it be Fordham, NYU, Columbia, anywhere, can obviously see that we have a mental health crisis going on in, in our city. I mean, when you take a subway uh, or you're just kind of walking around, you know, you notice a lot of uh, unhoused people around, um, you know, that may be addicted to drugs or maybe also have just uh, unaddressed problems throughout their lives or really didn't have anyone to support them. And, you know, it's it's something that we, we need to deal with. I think if, you know, actually carried out, it could be a good thing just because um, we have seen as a commuter too, I've seen like a rise in like violence and also um, you know, people who have mental illness um, taking the subway and they don't get the proper care that they need. I understand the, I guess, fear involved because we have seen like some incidents of violence. Um, but like removing people from the subway doesn't fix homelessness. Um, it just kind of puts it out of mind, which doesn't help the situation. Uh, and. Like New Yorkers are New Yorkers, and I feel like the subway is an area that people should be able to access regularly. And, yeah. I think an important thing when you when you go by anyone, you know, you don't have to give every person you see any money. You don't have to give them anything. You don't you don't really owe anybody anything. But what I think that is really important for all of us to understand is that if you see people around, you know, don't just put them out of your mind. You know, you can just say like, if someone asks you for money, you can be like. You know, sorry, I, I, I can't right now, but I hope you have a great day and, you know, I, I wish you the best. It's just, the more we humanize those people that, that we might think are the quote-unquote outcasts of, of society who are, who are unhoused or have a really bad, you know, mental condition that they're really struggling with, I think it's really important that no matter what, we, we humanize people. So I think that this kind of gets to the root of an issue. Um, not just like, you know, kicking people out of the subway, but like making sure that people are getting the help that they need. And, um, yeah, I think it could be good all around again if carried out correctly and properly.